Welcome to Season 3, Episode 1 of Anchor News Now. I'm Andrew Good. And I'm Tucker Budzar. During homecoming weekend, our Showman football team played the Midview Middies in the SWC matchup. Let's send it over to our reporter, Chris Artachi, for his recap on the Showman's incredible comeback. During homecoming weekend, the Showman faced the Midview Middies in a thriller game. In the first half, the Showman only scored a field goal. In the last play of the half, Jack O'Toole had a fumble recovery to shift the momentum going into the second half. And that was it, with a halftime score of 17-3 with the Midview Middies up. In the second half, the Showman picked it up with Michael Summerfield having a 55-yard receiving touchdown. Right after the touchdown, the Showman got an onside kick recovery to get the ball back. Soon after, Anthony Bennett scored his first rushing touchdown of the game. With two minutes left in the game, Jack O'Toole had an interception to put us in the perfect position for Anthony Bennett to score his second touchdown of the game. The Showman ended up beating the Midview Middies 24-17 with an amazing comeback in the second half. Our next segment features our resident historian. Aries Bodzar will walk you through what happened this week in history. Enjoy this blast from the past in his creatively titled This Week in History. Hi, I'm Tucker Budzar, aka Aries, and this is your weekly history report. This week in history, it was the year 1960, and it was the first televised presidential debate. JFK ended up winning the debate due to being well-prepared and formal. Another thing that happened this week in history was that the 12th Amendment was established in 1805. This amendment constructed the procedure of electing the President and Vice President of the United States. Once again, I'm Tucker Budzar, and thank you for watching your weekly history report. Now it's time for a podcast that we at Anchor News Now have created. It's called Boom or Bust, and we will have a new episode every week. Now, let's take a look at what's to come of this podcast. Hi, I'm Andrew Good. I'm Jackson Reed. I'm Chris Artache. I'm Tucker Budzar. Welcome to Fantasy Football Booms or Busts. On this podcast, we will be talking about uh, the football NFL games over the weekend. But it was really good for those uh, Jet people that had Jets players for fantasy. Aaron yeah. Rodgers. He was good. Gary Wilson was decent. What do you think, Tucker Buds are? I won 130 to 80. Wow. Because I'm him. Let's not even get started about the Browns. Browns. I, I really would not like to talk. I mean, about I, I mean, might as well just get started with it. 21-15 scored. In the first 11 seconds of the game, did, did the sport to the football. Uh, yeah, defense just looked <coughs> utterly atrocious. I mean, it was by Danny Jones. I mean, like, neighbors had a heck of a game. 28 points in fantasy. That was pretty good. Yeah, well, yeah, when Jamar Chase at 30, that's my boy right there. I had him. Well, who are the biggest booms you think this week? Like, so far on, during Saint the Sunday. Tyreek Hill. That's a bust. Oh, bust. I think you guys are bust. Uh, Saquon Barkley, Derek Henry. Amari Cooper Williams. did surprisingly good too. Jawan Jennings. Amari Cooper did surprisingly good. I, mean, I, mean, I mean, he usually does on average. Yeah, he had 27. He had 27. Yeah. I, I was surprised Jonathan that he was really Taylor. good. Jonathan, Jonathan Taylor, Taylor did really very good. Very good. good. Yeah. DK Metcalf. DK saved me. Panthers actually showed up this week. I was surprised. Ethan Adam Thielen had 15 points. It's because Bryce Young's not playing it's quarterback. Andy Dalton. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Rock, we don't need to Red go Rocket. There. He's not that bad. Star, Bryce Young is the worst quarterback in Panthers. Okay. History. We don't need to get into this debate. Guys, okay. guys, horrible. The Bills and the Jags, and we had the um, the Panthers. Nope, not the Panthers. The Bengals and the Commanders. Yeah. Terry McLaurin uh, had lots of points. Twenty points. Uh, Jaden Daniels had uh, almost thirty. Because Jaden Daniels is the most. Every person did good on fantasy. Yeah, that Bills game was just a slaughter fest. I, 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 that was hard to watch. The Mi yeah, the Miami Dolphins. Okay, they so they probably picked it all. They probably picked it all up. So yeah. Start the Miami Dolphins defense, K. Dog. Don't start Tyreek Hill. Yeah, don't start Tyreek Hill. I already or, got. Or, or I already got rid of him. Or Jalen Waddle. I also got a rid of Tyreek Hill off my fantasy team. He is gone, and I got a new, better wide receiver for him. There was uh, that during the Bills game, they scored 40 points, but like not like single one person had like so many touchdowns. It was yes, all yeah, spread yeah, around yeah, the yeah, team. Who are you talking about? We're not talking. He had a touchdown. Josh Allen had 30. Keon Coleman had a touchdown. James Cook had a touchdown. Like it was all spread around. It was. All right. Well, that does it.
tune in every every week for a new episode. See ya. Bye. Bye. Weather here in Avon Lake can get pretty wild. Yeah, tell me about it. Well, it's pretty wild. Okay, seems like you really don't know much about it. So let's see if our meteorologist JR knows anything more. Hi, and welcome to Anchor News Weather with your meteorologist, Jackson Reese. This week is looking like some rain, but by the end of the week, it should be pretty sunny. On Monday, we're going to see some light showers with a high of 73 and a low of 62. Tuesday will be more of the same with a high of 73 and a low of 56. Wednesday, however, looks to be a little chilly with the temperatures dipping down into the 40s, but we will see some sun at least. Finally, to end the week, Thursday and Friday are pretty similar temperature and climate-wise with some sunshine and some warm weather. That's it for the first weather report of the year, and I will see you all next week. In Cleveland, sports have a huge fan base and impact the culture of the city. During the fall seasons, all three of the Cavs, Browns, and Guardian seasons are starting or finishing up. Our analyst, Chris Artachi, will be giving you updates each week on how and what each, what each team is doing. Now let's see what he has to say. Cleveland! This is for you! Oh. Hi, I'm Chris Artachi, and this is your weekly Cleveland sports recap. The Cleveland Guardians play the St. Louis Cardinals on September 20th through the 22nd. They went 1-2 and two against the Cardinals with a combined score of 13 runs. The Guardians played the Cincinnati Reds on Tuesday and Wednesday. They won both of those games with a combined score of 11 runs. On Friday through Sunday, the Guardians will play the Houston Astros. Last Sunday, the Cleveland Browns played the New York Giants. The Browns scored in the first 11 seconds of the game to make it 7-0. Despite scoring with 11 seconds in the game, they really struggled to score until the fourth quarter. The Browns ultimately lost the game and fell 1-2 and two for the season. Next week, I will have an update on the Cleveland Cavaliers, who will kickstart their preseason on October 8th against the Chicago Bulls. Tune in next week for another episode of Cleveland Sports Recap. Did you hear our fellow crew member, Kevin, is a professional chef? No. Do you know what kind of food he makes? Yes. Actually, he makes everything from his special K-Dogs to basic things like pancakes and waffles. <laughs> wow. We'll send it over to him to see what he cooked up for us this week. Hi, I'm K-Dog, and this is Cooking with K-Dog. Today, we're going to be making K-Dogs. Step one of making K-Dogs is to fill up your pan with water and to place your hot dogs in there. Step two, step two is to raise the heat up to seven and let it boil for seven minutes. Hold your hot dogs for seven minutes, go to your sink and pour it all out. Now get your olive oil and pour it all over your hot dogs. Now, time for my secret ingredients. Okay. Now that the secret ingredients are on, we're gonna raise it up to high, and we're just gonna let the hot dogs cook. Until you hear that sizzle, then you're gonna have to start moving them. Now, after you've cooked your hot dogs for four and a half minutes, they should be complete. Now it's time to prepare your bread. Now it's time to toast the bread. This part should be very quick. Just put your bread on there, press it down a bit, and then get ready to take it out. Now that your hot dogs are complete, put whatever condiments you want on them. Personally, I like ketchup and mustard. Now that the cap dogs are done, the last thing you have to do is enjoy. Mm. Well, that's all for us. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope that you enjoyed our first episode of this new season. And be sure to subscribe. For Anchor News Now, I'm Andrew. And I'm Tucker Budzar. See you in the next episode.